One of the greatest freedoms is the freedom of realization. <laughs> Once you realize something, you now see what you used to see in a new way. And my brother, my sister, when you realize that your environment is your assignment, ah, it just feels good to be alive. There's no finding of something to complain. There's nothing to... It's just... Wow, this is actually all on point. Everything is on point. <laughs> Everything is on point. And I'm coming to that realization today. As I was looking at my life, I came to the revelation that projection is an effect of carrying too much. But not having what you have in the right perception. Someone, as a parent, could be going through so much and projecting it on their son, projecting it on their daughter. And that was my story. But I didn't see it as such. <laughs> when I was being raised, I felt like I was supposed to be more than enough. <laughs> because I was being given a, 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 a filter or a frame to see myself as if I wasn't enough. But really, there was a dissatisfaction in both of my parents, and they they created this dissatisfaction by their disobedience to the Lord, Spirit, God, I am. And so they are the ones, not me. I'm not tripping about this. This is not disturbing me. I don't have a problem, but I'm recognizing that I've had problems because I was inheriting them. I recognize that I was having problems because they were projected onto me. And it was interesting because it felt like it was me for real and I made it myself. <laughs> I made it mine myself because of all the energy and not understanding. Freedom is the greatest revelation. And this is why I understand the quality of scripture where it say, uh, through Christ all shall be free. Now, I don't say it exactly as such, but I'm understanding. Because I don't think it's good enough to know where it says and where it says it at if you don't know what it means. And so my life is what it means. I am the truth of God. I'm the exemplification of the word. That is who I am, Kadamshi. Just as it's been spoken by the Lord God. And the Lord God spoke it once, and it's been the same since. Because the eternal world, the eternal word is one. And it makes sense. <laughs> I can illustrate it. I can expand it. I can talk about it. I could um break it down. Build it up. I could do so much by not knowing how to do anything. <laughs> and just asking the one who does. Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, yes. One thing beautiful about this revelation is that it's easier to not take things personal when you recognize there's no things to be taken personal. <laughs> Now, I still have my preferences as a person, but my experience is not personal. My, <laughs> my experience I'm starting to know how good the word is when I say it because I can feel how good it is because I have a lot of people who can listen and I can understand how they would hear it. So now I'm able to put a correct pause before I would just be running this energy like <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful so wherever you are in your life invite the spirit of revelation invite the spirit of clarity the spirit of love and knowing because I'll tell you growing up with my parents I always accepted the projection as personal responsibility and that left me empty. That left me feeling burdened, uh, dissatisfactory. And that became a habit. So I was running this dissatisfactory energy all the day at home, every day at home, because that's what my my reaction, my re, my reality is reflecting to me. But then I recognized I put all this energy in motion because of already there's a lot of energy in motion. So I wasn't even doing anything. I was allowing what was happening in my environment to dictate to me. And that became my environment. So 
doing more was how to get love. Doing more was how to get seen. Doing more was how to get, like, noticed. Like, flashes of the old are remaining in the past. Praise you, Lord. Because <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> but I'm recognizing it because everybody's going to deal with such a thing at to a certain degree or to a certain extent. And it's the business of God to allow everybody to be free. It's the interest of God that everybody is realizing their freedom now. Not one day, not that it's being given by someone, but it's taken up upon a self by its own. You have to receive your freedom onto your own self. Nobody's holding it from you. It's you holding it from you. You holding a story that you think is so true because it looked true. I was doing it too. And I'm not going to just snatch somebody's story out of their hands or, you know, throw away everything all at once because every single part of the experience of being human is intentional because God is. And so there's a wisdom. And so there's understanding. And so there's a correction. And so there's a principle. And so there's a learning. There's a lesson. There's a blessing. And it's all in the same. They're all in the same. It's like the other side of the coin. All you got to do is reflect the same. Like, okay, well, if this coin side don't look so good, then flip it to see this other side. The other side of the coin is going to reflect to you why these certain things have happened. What is the mistake or the act, the action that's out of alignment that has created such an effect? Because everything is uh, in, in correlation. See? Nothing is outstanding by itself. Everything is in correlation. So... If the energy was like de depreciated in a certain element, then you have to see the other side of the coin and see what created this depreciation, what created the deficit, what created it, because it's always there. And you can't not have anything without having another thing because one side reflects the other. Praise the Lord. This is God. Form creates function. He's a form, spirit, in Christ himself, spirit in a form, human, physical. For what? The two. That's two, one. As one, as a being, I'm a seeing like a human being, I'm a spiritual being. Then I have a function. Everything. Same, same, everything. Form, function, same, same. In action. <laughs> so if you're in alignment with the form, then each form has a particular function. Show me a tree that doesn't do oxygen. Like, show me water that's not wet. It's not happening. Because everything that's created by God in his form functions in accordance with the organic intelligence. That's dot com. That's dot com across all, all, all. So, however, just sharing my insight from the Lord God. I think people can deem it as they think it is. Because that's what they've been doing anyways. <laughs> so with that being said, honor your story and recognize the other side. That empowers you. That expands you. That lifts you into the king queen god being the child of glory talk to y'all soon let's walk in our new story <laughs>